Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a fabulous Saturday. For today's video, as per usual, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my TJ Maxx and Marshalls finds for the week. This was probably one of the best weeks we had in a good two, three months. I am so beyond pleased with this vlog. You guys are gonna absolutely love it. I will go ahead and leave my TJ Maxx playlist down below in the description box. You guys know I do upload these videos every single Saturday. So if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe, join the fam jam, and um, let's just create a big happy family. You know what I'm saying? Also, for this past week, I uploaded a ton of reviews for like the newly released holiday makeup items. So if you guys wanna check those out, be informed on what's good, what's it's not all that then yes i will have a few of those linked down below as well but let's go ahead and get started i'm so excited for this you don't even know we got some amazing restocks here from abh we have their lipsticks the alme blushes better than love and sex mascaras and the waterproof version and then i see that we have this set here from exuvians it's a 90 dollars value but here at tj it's retailing for 24.99 pretty good i know that they sell this brand at ulta it's for sensitive to dry skin it comes with a restorative cream a cleanser and i believe like a um toner we also have this set here from exuvians this kit includes the luxe size products but still pretty decently sized it says original value 25 bucks which is probably what it would be at ulta land here i'm guessing it's 14.99 let's see 12.99 all right pretty close also i showed this brand to you guys last week but a few of you guys asked me to recommend shampoos this is the brand that I use 90% of the time. I have keratin treated hair and color treated hair. This isn't the specific one I use because they have so many different ones to choose from, but this is color brightening purple shampoo. So if you have blonde hair, I think this should work out really well. It's um, free of sulfates, parabens, and gluten, which is great. And it's $9.99 for this big daddy 33.8 fluid ounce size bottle. At Marshalls, I see that they have this shade mister Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade Psychic. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't recall, we, I don't recall seeing this shade ever. Um, it's so exciting, it's a gorgeous blue. And this is retailing for $8.99. It's a beautiful like sky, oceany blue. Gorgeous. Then I found one of the YSL mascaras. It's the Everlasting Mascara. Um, it looks like it's been tampered with $16.99. Here's what the packaging looks like. It is beautiful. I love it, it's stunning. It looks really high-end and luxurious. I also see that we have one of the Lime Prime Velveteens lip liners in Drew. It's deep, beautiful. Uh, grunchyish brown. Um, we saw one of their lip liners last week, a reddish type of color. This is retailing for $3.99. Packaging is so cute. Well, we have this Insta Famous Blonde Conditioner. It's from the brand IGK, which is an amazing brand. They're sold at Sephora. It has eight fluid ounces of product and it is retailing for $9.99. Cute packaging. Honestly, this is one that I've been on the lookout for. <laughs> Emma recently found it. It's the Unicorn Hair in Frilly. So it's a gorgeous purpley type of shade. I remember when this came out on Ulta set and honestly, I was really, really intrigued. I'm like, should I get it? Should I just not? My hair is extremely picky and it feels like a doll's head at times. So I have to be very wary about what I use in my hair. <laughs> anyway, this looks really cool. I think it's 34 bucks on... I wish I had a chair, please. Um, it's 34 bucks, I believe, on um, 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 Ulta. And this is retailing for $9.99. Great deal. Um, next up we have this IJK FOMO, I think that's how you pronounce it, holographic hair foam. Retailing for $7.99. There isn't a ton of product in here. How much do we get? Come on, two ounces of product. The packaging is so cute. Two years ago, I remember, I placed an order on Sephora. A few of you guys mentioned to me that they had this on Sephora site. It's like such a fun product for the summer and I'm like, yes, I need it. Never ended up purchasing it, but basically it's a spray that adds like this holographic -y vibe to your hair. You can add it on one streak of hair or like your whole head. I just think it would be really cute. It's good for like the summertime, I feel like. I don't know if I would wear it, you know, year round, but I don't know. I kind of feel like I need it in my life, honestly. It's only $8. <laughs> anyway, next up we have this massive Big Daddy size of the Yes 2 cucumbers, um, makeup remover wipes. These are okay, I'm not obsessed with them. It's retailing for $3.99, which is so damn cheap. Yeah, for that price, I'd probably recommend it because it does the job, but not as amazing as Neutrogena and Simple Wipes. It comes with 54 wipes. And then we have these Nivea facial cleansing wipes. 25 wipes in here, and this is $2.99. I don't recall ever trying these out. I tried other ones from this brand, and they were good. So this might be good, or it might be, I don't know, thumbs down. Only time will tell. I also wanted to show you guys that they stocked up on more of these Kala lashes. This is the Volt Lashes, the flirty style. There are five pieces in here, $5.99. They also have these beautiful Nova lashes. It says weightless volume and curl. They look amazing like the Huda Beauty. Um, I purchased one of these and I applied it on my friend's 
cousin. She loved them. It applied nicely. I haven't used it on my eyes yet for myself, so I can't say for me, but $3.99 and just looking at it, I think they're going to be good. We then have this style, which is in rouge, same price as the previous one. These are okay. I would recommend the previous one. Then we have this one, which is in glamour. It includes five. $5.99. They are stocking up on these Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. We've seen these in the past possibly, I want to say a year ago now, um, but they are bringing them back. I love these Stila Liquid Lipsticks. Um, they have a really nice mousse-like texture, similar to the Bare Minerals formula. $4.99 here at Marshalls. So here are the four shades, Lumi, Shimmer, Sheer, Splendor, Rico, and Biscotti. I think Rico and Biscotti are very, very popular shades. I cannot believe they have the Kevin Aquan The Art of Sculpting and Defining Palette. I have such a love relationship towards this. It's insane, but only towards one shade. So it's retailing for $14.99, which is an amazing deal because this is like $50 on Sephora. Okay, so here is what it looks like. It's like a whole book situation. So the two top shades there are cream products, and the remaining shades are... Um, powders. I finished this off completely, like the one that I owned. I've decluttered it since because this is the only shade I actually used in here. I felt like it was worth it just for that. It's like the perfect undertone. It blends out super easy. What I hated about this palette though is that the particles in these powders went into the cream um, product. So it kind of made things are pretty messy I think for 15 bucks though if you, even if you're gonna use one of the shades and you can kind of depot these also if, if you're gonna use only one shade it's still worth it because well at least that cream contouring shade is everything I love that they have these this is the Kevin Aquan the contour duo on the go little kit so cute there's a sculpt and highlight shade it's like tiny it is retailing for $5.99 so this is magnetic it opens up just like that I honestly would have wished that these were cream products I would have totally picked it up but they're powders but it seems like it would be something great and handy to use on the go it's so small it's like yummy next up we have the Briogeo Be Kind Be Gentle Banana Coconut Nourishing Superfood Conditioner I know so many people have been on the lookout for this one and it finally showed up at my TJ Maxx it looks like it'll smell amazing, right? Like, I can't smell it, but it looks like it'll smell like banana life, and I eat bananas, like, daily. My hair is pretty picky, so I'm going to contemplate on this one. But it is retailing for $7.99, which is amazing. We have some Elizabeth Arden kits here. So we saw this one last week at Marshall's, but we haven't seen this one. This is the Elizabeth Arden Bold and Brilliant Kisses Kit. Uh, so we get three liquid lipsticks, Passionate Peach, Pretty Obsessed, and Stardust. They all seem pretty neutral with um, some pinkiness as well. And this kit is retailing for $14.99. Looks like it's a good one. Next up, we have some skincare products here. So this is a mask that Emma actually purchased for herself. She mentioned that she loved it. It's retailing for $5.99. It's like an eggy mask. It's so cute. <laughs> then we have two products here from Murad. They are sold at Sephora. Great brand. So this one right here is the Multivitamin Infusion Oil. Retailing for $19. $19.99. Basically, people have been getting bomb benefits from this. This looks really good. Ugh, why does it look so good? <laughs> okay, and then we have this Brightening Boost Professional Concentrate. It says, actively targets and helps inhibit pigmentation. Whoa. I feel like I have some pigmentation on my face. And this is retailing for $16.99. And then here's what the product looks like. It has a dropper applicator to it and it's in a silver package. This is really exciting. We have some products here from Laura Mercier. Some pretty cool stuff. So this right here is the um, Valora Extreme Matte Lipstick. And it is retailing for $6.99. There you guys can see what the shade looks like. It's a pretty deep raspberry color. Um, it does look like the caviar stick. So just have it in mind, which is basically her cream eyeshadows. But this is a matte like pencil and then we have this laura mercier velour lip powder collection kit retailing for $9.99 bomb deal this specific one is in paris so i am assuming that there are other color stories to choose from the packaging is gorgeous mirrored love it you just press this button and then it pops open here is what it looks like this is a creamy matte powder lip polish trio so i'm assuming you probably apply those matte like powders on your lips and then use that bomb like product on top or on bottom very interesting i didn't know something like this existed they look like eyeshadows like just from initial glance but apparently it's not it's full of lips i love the colors and then i see that they also stocked up a nice on a nice amount of a lime crime liquid lipsticks these we've seen 5.99 each i rarely show you guys any hair care products but they literally loaded this section up and you can find some amazing brands like joico amica all of that so i love showing you guys when they are fully stocked so we have abh buxom and a whole bunch of other goodies there so I actually never really show you guys bags, but I thought that this was pretty cool. It's by Fendi and it's like a backpack. I'm obsessed with backpacks. It feels really nice, but it's the price tag. 
So, I think. Right. At Marshalls right now, we have the Neutrogena Naturals Multivitamin Nourishing Night Cream. It looks really good. It says no harsh chemicals, sulfates, parabens, or dyes. I love that the drugstore is getting like with it. So, I think there's about one fluid ounce of product in here, and there's it's $6.99. It's so cheap. Then we have the Aveeno Positive, Positively Radiant Max Glow Serum Plus Primer. It says creates a glow and smooth canvas for makeup. It's so cool. Why? I didn't know something like this existed. Thank you, um, Avino. And this is retailing for only $7.99. I'm impressed. Honestly, very interesting. It looks like a um, toner to an extent, and it's very, very liquidy. Maybe it's gonna have like that very hydrating, oily feel. I mean, it's a serum and primer, so wow. I, I don't know what to say. This looks good. Then I wanted to show you guys this Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Indulgent Body Wash. Um, a lot of you guys mentioned in last week's video that you love Palmer's and I'm like, yo, that's so cute. Um, so I wanted to just showcase this, $4.99. Then we have these Milk Makeup Eye Pigments. So I think that we saw this shade last week. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just going to show it quickly now. Um, I heard that these are very pigmented and hard to blend out. Let me know what your experience is with this because I've never tried it, but that's what I heard. They're retailing for $5.99 each. The top shade is an after party and the bottom one is in gig. Here you guys can see the shade names. I just love those stickers. Okay, and then this is something that I've been on the hunt for. It's retailing for $6.99. So firstly, it's a full-size glitter stick from Milk Makeup. Um, I feel like it would be wonderful on those natural-ish kind of days. It's in the shade Techno. Look at that. And then that indicates how it's gonna kind of look on the face, like white with like gold glitter. How beautiful. Next up, we have this kit here from Living Proof. It's the Perfect Hair Day Starter Trio. I love these little ones. It's such a great way to see what the quality of their products are like and then kind of take it from there. Um, it says it's a $10 value kit. Wait, yeah, but it's $9.99 here. So you basically save a penny. <laughs> Yay! Next up, we have this BH Cosmetics Sculpt and Blend Fan Faves 10 Brush Makeup Piece Kit. Whoa. So it seems like we get five eye brushes and five face brushes, which is a nice selection of kind of like both. This is only retailing for $9.99. So cheap for 10 brushes, basically a dollar per brush. Here are how some of the brushes look. I love the pink handle. They seem very, very, very soft, I have to say, but maybe a tad flimsy. But I mean, for 10 bucks, I don't know. I feel like you can't go wrong. Even if you use one brush or two brushes out of this kit, I think it should still be good. Okay, and then I am so happy that they have this. So many of you guys sent me pictures of this on Instagram and you're like, yo, I found this. And I'm like, why? Thank you so much for keeping me informed. You guys are so cute. This is crazy. First of all, it says it's so big. It's like the big daddy, massive, huge ass size of the Hangover RX primer. It's, it says it's silicone free. There's 2.1 fluid ounces. I think that the regular size, it has one fluid ounce of product. And this is only $12.99. I'm sorry, is it? Come, come, come again? $12.99. The one fluid ounce size is 36 on, on Sephora. This is huge, I have to say. It's massive. And this will probably last me my entire existence. Um, I, I do really like this. I don't find that it fills in my pores. I just love the fact that it's extremely hydrating and the scent is actually very refreshing. Then we have this Spackle Mist by Laura Geller. It has four fluid ounces of product, retailing for only $7.99. I own her other mist, which I love. Emma raves about it all the time, and I think it's really good too, but I don't think I own this. I might have purchased it in a kit, but I think I gifted that kit to a friend. So here is what it looks like. I love the packaging. It says prime, set, and refresh. I usually have pretty good luck with her products in general, so this should probably be a winner. Then we have another product here from Avino, and Avino has just been really right up my alley since like a minute ago, <laughs> since I saw this, honestly. It's like, damn. So this is the Positively Radiant Maxi Glow, Max Glow, sorry, Infusion Drops. Okay, so here's what the Avino Max Glow Drops look like. Firstly, it is retailing for only $7.99. I checked the ingredients and there's no alcohol that's included in here. From what it seems like, it seems like it's made well with good ingredients. It says also up there, Total Soy and Kiwi Complex. So again, I haven't tried it on my face, but it seems like it's going to be a winner and I'm extremely intrigued. I really want this. We have some goodies here from the Too Faced Natural Lust line. I cannot believe it. So we basically found the Natural Lust palette a few weeks back. I'll have a video linked down below. I, of course, purchased it. Um, it's retailing for $29.99 here, and I think on Sephora it is $50, something like that. But we've never seen the Too Faced Natural Lust bronzer. How freakishly exciting. So this is actually one that I purchased about six months ago when it came out. So it's not even that old. Um, I used it for maybe a week or so, but I ended up returning it, which I rarely do, but I felt like the quality was not justifiable for the $36 price tag that Sephora sold it for. Um, now that it's $12.99 here at Marshalls, like, I'm gonna pick it up. Like, it's so much more worth it for that amount. It is gorgeous. I love the peacock. Um, you guys know I'm a collector, so I also need it just for the collector in me, but 
I wouldn't say this is the best bronzer of life. It definitely is very, very light in tone, so you have to work with it. I feel like if you have a medium to deep complexion, it might not work, but if you have a fair to light complexion, it would probably work out well for you. And then I see that they also restocked on this. We sold this in the past at TJ Maxx, but not at Marshalls. Or deluxe size products for $14.99. And then I'm not sure how exciting this is, but this is the Profusion Glamour Palette. I like the packaging. It has like that marbleized look. But then, you open it up like that, right? One of the shades are broken. There are 24 shades that are included in here. Definitely more cooler in tone. Some goodies. I just have to show you guys a little bit of an overview, but yeah, it's fully stocked. Seriously, I cannot believe that I found this. I've been on the lookout, let me tell you. This came out, I think, for holiday 2018 or 2017. It's been selling for $19.99. There's a bronzer, um, blush, and highlighter. And you guys can see right here, it's from MAC. And like I said, it came out like a year or two years ago. I want to say last year. Yes, oh my goodness, this past year. Not even a year ago. Yes, it's called the MAC Shiny Pretty Little Things Face Compact. And then it's for fair skin tones, which I think should work out well for me. And I see that we have these Smashbox trios. It's in Pick Me. So gorgeous. I can so see myself using this trio as a one-stop shop type of look. Throwing this shade in the crease, then one of those on the lids. I have one or two of these guys in different color stories, and I love them. And this color story is speaking to me, $7.99. I love these rosy tone shades, especially for fall. Yes. And then I wanted to show you guys some ABH lipsticks. So we've seen many in the past, but we've never seen the shade Ins Insomniac. Retailing for $7.99. I didn't even know the shade existed, but it's kind of cool. And then here's what the shade looks like. It's like a bluish mm, green. I see that they have even more of these Elizabeth Arden kits. So we saw this one, we saw this one, but we haven't seen this. Original value, 48 bucks. Here are what the shades will look like. Pretty much nude, pinky type of colors. Today's them, $9.99. Just sick for such good colors. I see that we have this eye brush collection by Kenzie. Uh, we've been seeing a few of her products in regards to like actual makeup. I don't think we ever saw any of her brushes. This is $5.99 and includes what? Five brushes. I see that we have this Honest Beauty Everything Cream Foundation. There was only one piece here in the shade Snow. $12.99. I've never really tried anything from this brand. Let me know if you guys did. I have to know. I see more of the Lacite conditioners here at Marshalls. These are huge. I mentioned these last week. These are $8.99 each. This one right here is the rose oil one. It says it's a hydrating and volumizing formula. If you, so if you need that for your hair, I stand by this brand 100% though. Next up, we have these uh, Pure Bare It All 12 Hour 4 in 1 Skin Perfecting Foundation. I believe we've seen this in the past, but they are bringing them back. But, um, one is in porcelain and then golden medium. So they are uh, providing a few shades to choose from and these are $9.99 each. Next up, we have this Pure Life of the Party Kit. We get a full size of a fully charged mascara, a lash glue, and then a liquid liner. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, and then lashes as well. So for original value, 26, but here at TJ it is. Retailing only for $9.99. Pretty good. We have some of these Physicians Formula Concealer Twins Kits. So basically, if you have redness in your skin, you can use a green to kind of counteract that. These are retailing for $3.99. There are two pieces here. We also have this ABH liquid lipstick in a pretty cool shade. $7.99. It's a really pretty, like, cool tone nude, I have to say, in person. It's pretty cool. Um, and this is shade Starfish. Next up, we have this Laura Mercier Extreme Neutrals Eyeshadow Palette, $24.99. So here's what the packaging looks like. Nice. It has, like, a bouncy, a little bit of a bouncy-ish cushion feel to it. It's magnetic. So pretty much your neutral slash chlorotone palette. I know there aren't a lot of these kind of palettes out there, so if this is your vibe, I would snag it. Although I wouldn't say the Laura Mercier shadows are beyond, beyond delicious, beyond soft. But um, I still think that they work pretty nicely. Uh, next up, we have this Superfood Salad for Skin um, Sheet Mask Kit. Isn't this cute? This looks adorable. Like, it's just speaking to me. It's retailing for $5.99. There are a whole bunch of different um, masks here, like a green tea one, a beet one, an olive one, honey, broccoli, carrot, all of that. And I just thought it was pretty neat. We have another one of these Milk Makeup Eye Pigments here in Sesh. It's a pretty blue, $5.99. I wish it would have been, would have been called Sheesh. I like that name. Next up, we have four ABH matte lipsticks. So we've seen many of these in the past, but these are shades that we've never seen. They're gorgeous. Um, retailing for $7.99 each, and they all are a matte finish. First one that we have up is Soft Pink. Gorgeous, nudish, pinky type of shade. You guys know this is what I live for. The next one we have up is this beautiful muted nude, and this is in Stounch. This one right here is a gorgeous plum shade in Plumeria. And then this one right here is in Petal. It's probably the most neutral nude from the bunch. 
Emma mentioned that she purchased one of these for herself. This is the Bare Minerals Longwear Eyeshadow Stick. It is gorgeous. It's a stunning rosy champagne color that you can throw and go. Perfect for every day. It's in Sunset Rose and it is $5.99. Probably won't pick it up because I have so many of these kind of products, but it will look stunning on. Trust in me. Next up, we have two of these NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencils. We have Roman Holiday, which is this beautiful pink. And then this gorgeous nude, and that is the shade name. I think it's in French. Cannot believe that Roman Holiday is here. This came out for Holiday 2015 or 2016, I want to say, which was so long ago. But it was one of my favorites ever. I used to be obsessed with these kind of shades. Literally, I wear them 24-7, I'm telling you. I don't know if you guys believe me. But these are $5.99 each. Really nice in the lips. Kind of line, line out your lips with these and then fill them in. But they're not retractable, which kind of just makes them a tad annoying. We have two of these skincare products here. This is the Pond Clear Solution Facial Scrub, retailing for only $2.99, a pretty decent size. And this one is the Shea Moisture Transform Transforming Clay to Cream Cleanser. And this one right here is vegan, I believe, retailing for $5.99. We have some products here from the brand Brow Food, which I don't recall ever hearing about, but they look good. It's, this is the Aqua Brow Powder Plus Pencil Duo. Pretty affordable, retailing for $5.99 each. So there isn't a specific brow shade name on the box, but when you turn over the box, you could see that this product is a bit deeper and the other one is a bit lighter, indicating that, you know, the dark one would be if you have darker brows and light one is good if you would have, you know, blondish type of brows. It looks pretty cool. I feel like Maybelline has something similar to this, but there's like a brow pencil and a brow powder, so you can kind of use them each separately or together. Then we have three of these Brow Food Velvet 3D Brow Glide products. I think these are brow pencils, all in different shades. So with these, you could see that there are the shade names on the side of the boxes. So we have Brunette, Dark Brunette, and then Dark Blonde. And these are $7.99 each. You guys can see what the applicator looks like right there. I am so happy about this NARS Wild Thoughts Audacious Lipstick Palette. I've been on the hunt. So there's this one, which includes deeper shades. You guys know it's not my vibe. But then they have another one that has a bunch of nude shades, which M and I are still on the lookout for because we did not find it, but I need it. It's retailing only for $16.99. So here are what the shades look like. Thank goodness it isn't swatched. I could probably still work with it, but I don't think I'm going to get a ton of use out of it. Um, it's, in the it's in the style Wild Thoughts. There's a mirror to this too. On the back here, you can see the shade names. Claudia, Stefania, Janet, Vera, Dominique, Fanny, and Ingrid, which are shades that are part of their Audacious line. So if you don't want to purchase the Audacious lipstick separately, like it's all in here, which I think is pretty cool for $16.99. Next up, we have this Bobbi Brown Shadow. $7.99, it's in the shade Great 6. It's like a taupey, dark, cool tone color, it's fine. We have this Pure Marble Powder Spice. So it says multi-dimensional powder, retailing for $5.99. So it's called Marble's Powder Spice. Looks like a blush or like a bronzer, I guess, depending on your skin tone. They are also bringing more of these in. They used to have these a lot last year, but they're bringing them back, I believe, for the holidays. Uh, $29.99, three of the full-size Bobbi Brown lipsticks in gorgeous, neutrally type of shades. And this um, includes Sand wash pink, pink, and salmon. Then I see that they're bringing this back in as well. So it's like a two in one situation. You get, I think, eight different eyeshadows. Anyways, it's all sealed and I can't open it up, but it's $24.99. Next up, we have some of these Smashbox Singular Shadows. So this one right here is in cinnamon. It's a nice um, metallic light brown. And then this one right here is in Hang. It's a cool toned matte transition shade. Um, these are pretty nice. I have one of these to use as a highlighter, even though it's an eyeshadow, and it's they're $5.99 each. Also, to just let you guys know that they started bringing more of these Smashbox Holidays Contour and Spotlight Palette Kits here to TJ. So we found this last time at Marshalls, but they're bringing them back. They're bringing it. Bring, they're bringing them to TJ right now. And this is what, $29.99? $24.99. Ooh, these look amazing. I don't think we saw Sin City from Kala. This looks so good. These are the, my, this is my style. Like I love these kind of lashes. Only $3.99. And then I see that they have this pretty cool Dr. Jart Mask Heroes Face Saviors Kit set. We guys, all of us pretty much agree that this face is kind of creepy, but I guess they're going with that vibe, you know? So the original value is $36, bucks. Buy here at TJ it is $14.99. So what's included in the kit is this Rubber Mask Firm Lover Mask. We get the Hydration Lover Mask, which looks just like this. The Clearing Solution Mask, which I love these from them. Brightening Solution. Water Replenishment. And Pore Minimalist Mask. Um, I think for the price tag, you're getting a lot, and it's a great way to just try out um, a few of their masks that they do have to provide. You guys can see Expiration 2020-06, so um, we have a good 9-10 months. 
so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, seeing the vlog. Now let me share with you guys everything that I ended up picking up from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Okay, I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy. So firstly, in regards to food, I picked up these GFB PBNJ little, what are these called? These are like protein packed like bowls, like they're bites. It's so good. I already finished one in a sitting. This is my second pack. This was $3.79 at TJ Maxx. I constantly repurchase it. It has great ingredients. It's vegan, um, non-dairy, kosher. And I went ahead and picked this up, uh, the Lazy and Easy Smooth Egg Peeling Mask. Emma raves about this and we saw it once then. I didn't end up picking it up. We haven't seen it from like a really, really long time. And then she found it again. And I'm like, okay, I'm getting it this time. So I'm really excited. Basically, she mentioned that once you apply it on the face, it kind of gets rid of all the dead skin. And you can kind of feel like dead skin like coming off. So I'll have to keep you guys posted. I did not forget about my bathroom tour. Do not worry. Then I have three of the Cora's Body Butters. I absolutely love these. They retail for $5.99 at TJ Maxx. So I have one currently that I'm using in my shower. But I just wanted to stock up because I felt like they were priced well. It's so moisturizing and... I'm going about it too. Basically, this one right here is the yogurt one. This one right here is the guava shower gel. Really, really nice. And then I have this one right here, which is the coconut guava. So I'm assuming they're all going to smell pretty good. I usually have pretty good luck with these body washes or with chorus products in general. So first bag done. Now moving on to the next one. Okay. Yes. Here is my other GFB thingies that I finished. I also picked up these pure slices. This is 100% pears. No additional sugar, no additional crap in there. I love having this as a snack. Because, like, I mean, I'm in love with sugar. But if I can have it in a healthier form and way, then I'm down. Next thing I definitely knew I wanted to pick up was the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Banana Plus Coconut Nourishing Conditioner. So I'm going to try this for my hair. If I'm not going to enjoy it, I might give it to my sister. Or I can always use it for shaving my legs. This smells like you know what it smells like the banana laffy taffy yum next i picked up the palmer's indulgent foaming body wash this smells so damn good i'm literally set for body washes and i'm literally set for smelling bomb this coming up fall and winter very 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 excited for that i then ended up picking up two of these products from avino i was in the store contemplating about these for like probably a good 25 minutes each and i'm like hey do i need it should i leave it should i pick up one over the other then i put one back and i'm like no i just want it you know like that's what i was doing and it's like can you get a life stop um they're really affordable at 7.99 each so Hopefully they will work out for my skin. There's no alcohol in these products, so that's kind of also why I kind of got intrigued. I got the infusion drops as well as the serum and primer. I am so excited to use these like ASAP. So the primer basically mentions that you have to shake it. Feels pretty good. Yum, it smells delicious. It has like a nice moisturizing feel. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have any tacky feel, but I feel like it has a little bit of oil in there, so it's gonna kind of hydrate my skin. I'm not gonna um, open this one yet, just because I might wanna play with, around with that one first, but I'm really excited for that too. Then I went ahead and picked up a bunch of lashes because I just needed some. So I really like these Creme Shop lashes in Lolita. Love the style, it's like flary. Um, I picked up two Lolitas, and then I picked up two from Kala, and this is, these are both in Sin City. So here are what these lashes look like. A lot of times I wear these in my videos and a bunch of you guys ask me like which one are you wearing and it's usually that. Then I wanted to pick up this Milk Makeup Glitter Stick. I just thought that this was really, really cool and I was like, I really want to try this. Seems like it has a little bit of a pinky undertone to it, but it doesn't have like a gritty feel and it feels really nice and cooling. Next up, I picked up this Too Faced Magic Hangover It's So Big um, primer. So this is like the big, big daddy set. I think this is 50 bucks on Sephora. There's 2.1 fluid ounces of product in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this for myself, but it was just priced so well that I couldn't leave it there. So I might just give this to a friend or something. I just needed to have it in my life. Then I picked up the Too Faced Natural Lust Bronzer. I'm actually really happy to have this again in my life. It is absolutely stunning. And honestly, for... What, what is this? $12.99 cannot be beat. And it's crazy. Like I told you guys, it just came out less than six months ago in 2018. I don't know anymore. I just don't know anymore. Well, that wouldn't be less than six months ago, but you know what I mean. Here is what it looks like. Packaging is so gorgeous. And here is what it looks like swatched. It seems very nice and soft. Hopefully it's gonna pick up nicely on the brush. And then if you guys follow me on Instagram, I mentioned that I picked up this sweater once again. So I picked this up last year and I loved it. It was my favorite. I remember I wore it when I was in AC with my sister. I went into a TJ Maxx randomly 
was trying on some clothes. I don't know where the hell I put this, but it was lost, gone for good. And I was actually really, really bothered. I was kind of like being annoying to my sister. And she's like, can you shut up? It's just a damn scarf. I'm like, no, you don't understand what it means to me. So I'm so happy that they brought it back. It's only retailed for $14.99. It's absolutely like delicious feeling and it's pretty warm. Plus it's so affordable and it looks like it's pretty rich. Then I ended up picking up two more makeup items. I think we did really well with like a selection of different products for this week. So I picked up this um, Smashbox Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trio and Pick Me. I I thought this was gorgeous. I love these kind of rosy toned shades for the eyes. I just think I look really good with them. You know what I mean? So here is what the trio looks like. We get a matte and two metallics. Absolutely stunning. And I am pretty confident that I'll, able, that I'll be able to create a look just using these three, which normally I wouldn't think so, but I think we can do it. So beautiful. Wow. Then I picked up the MAC Shiny Pretty Little Things Compact in Fair. I'm really, really happy about this. I will say the quality of this is like very shitty feeling and feels like, I don't know, like very very cheap but here is what it looks like on the inside it's what's on the inside that counts sometimes what's on the outside too i'm kidding but i feel like these are the kind of products that you'll have to work with it doesn't seem crazily pigmented like you'll probably have to dig your brush in there but anyways here is what it looks like i feel like yeah if you have a fair skin tone this could work out well also if you have a light skin tone medium to deep probably not because they are pretty light in tone all right that is pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely let me know what products you guys recently picked up at tj maxx and marshall's i need to know this information follow me on instagram if you would like to share photos with me in regards to what products you picked up and also just to join and yeah i will see you guys in my next video i hope you enjoyed i'm looking forward to reading your comments down below and honestly for this one it's for real for real even though it's always for real but for this one it's like let me know let me know